Hey everybody, it's me. Here comes Trouble 88. Jenna, just catching back base with you guys. I know I've been freaking awful at doing my updates. I'm so, so, so sorry. Um, but I'm worth waiting for. Everybody knows that. Um, so I have a lot of errands. I have to go run today and I'm going to try to make this video fast and get as much information in it as possible. Um, there is a lot of subjects I want to touch base on. Um, First of all, let's start with my numbers. I started at 2.40, um, had my surgery February 1st. Five and a half months later, today I weigh 147, so that's total weight loss of 93 pounds. Totally fucking stoked. I can't believe it. I'm so shocked. Um, and I'm so happy, but at the same time, my brain is fucking with me and telling me that I should have already lost 100 pounds because if I would be working out like I'm supposed to and not eating junk in the middle of the night like I'm not supposed to, then I would have lost 100 pounds already or maybe even more. Um, so you guys have to really be careful, um, me especially, because I take um, a certain medication and um, it makes you feel like you're starving. And the main side effect from that is um, weight gain. And the average weight gain for that uh, medication is like 50 pounds a year, which is just insane. And I got back on my birth control, which is totally necessary. And um, that causes like about 12 pounds a year of weight gain. So um, mostly though the concern is with my other medication because it actually makes you feel hungry. So I take it at night and then I like go to my kitchen and I eat half asleep and I have no recollection of eating sometimes the only I leave behind evidence of wrappers next to my bed so I like sleep I eat my sleep and um, last night I actually woke up and I like vomited I just stick my finger down my throat um I get dumping syndrome but it makes me feel really nauseous and like really clammy and I know I have to throw up but I never can throw up on my own I always have to Sorry if this grosses you out, but I always have to stick my finger down my throat or the back of like a toothbrush or something to actually make myself vomit because I can't do it. But once I vomit, I feel so much better. And it doesn't last long, but um, um, that is what I'm experiencing. I don't know if it's actually going to consider dumping or what, um, but that's kind of what's going on with me with the eating. Um, what else? Um I got my housing, I'm going to my appointment in just a few hours, that's why I'm all done up and pretty, and I'm going to go by my school and say hello, and um, go pick up crickets to feed my gecko, because I haven't fed him all month, I know I'm bad, so I got to go do some errands today, but I really wanted to make an update, um, on my main page, I was writing down um, every week, I'm looking at myself in the reflection instead of at the camera, sorry. I was every week writing down um, my weight loss, and I stopped doing that, but the mirror in my bathroom is completely full of, da of uh, dates and weights, and it's really funny because you can't even look in the mirror, and then people come over and go, what the fuck is on your mirror? Paint pin all over my mirror. Can't see nothing. So I'm going to write all that shit down on a piece of paper, and I'm going to update it onto my page so you guys can kind of check it out. It won't be the exact one-week dates because if I don't, if I didn't lose weight that one week, I didn't write shit down. I only wrote down losses. Um, but it still has a lot of information on it. Um, my weight loss is really fluctuating. I'm at the five-and-a-half-month mark. And I'll go three weeks and maybe only lose two pounds, and then one week I'll lose three pounds. And <clears throat> so it's really starting to fluctuate. I don't know if that's normal or what. Um, if you guys have any input on that, let me know. I really want to know when the weight, weight loss starts to really, really stop, <coughs> if you have that information. I'm sorry, I have something in my throat. <coughs> um, oh, that water's frozen. And then I also wanted to touch base on a couple of um, different subjects. Um, one is is that um, I am being approached by so many different guys and hot guys, beautiful guys, tattooed guys, sexy guys, a few dorky guys, but I'm being approached a lot. And it is crazy because I... I knew I had low self-esteem, but I still felt confident and still I still felt like I was beautiful and I was pretty. And I thought maybe people were intimidated by me. And now I realize that people were just not talking to me because I was fat, which is pretty fucked up. 
Like, for instance, the other day, this guy see me that hasn't seen me for a while, and he goes, wow, you look really good. Can I get your number? Such an improvement since the last time I seen you. Wow, you look so much better than you used to. Can I have your number? What the fuck? Really? How insulting. I wanted to, like, knock this guy, like, clear across the room. It was... It was insane. I was like, oh, you never spoke a word to me before, but now that I lost almost 100 pounds, now you want my fucking number? I mean, he was ugly anyway, but the point is, is that's just fucking rude. And another thing is my friends. I have so many friends that are jealous of me now, and I don't get it because I'm still the same person. I'm still the same outgoing um, personality. I still will tell a bitch to fuck off. I'll still tell a guy he's a dick. I'll, I, I'm the same person. I'm still the same me. I just don't shop in the plus size department anymore. And, um, a few of my friends are overweight and, you know, I still feel the same way about them and I wish they would feel the same way about me. And I kind of feel like, I'm um, isolated because I don't hang out with any of my friends anymore. It seems like everyone's jealous or has a resentment towards me. So to all you people out there, if your friends are getting resentments towards you, fucking tell them to fuck off and um, love me, hate me. It's still fucking an obsession. And um, get new friends because people like that, you don't need them in your life. Um, what else? Um... I don't know. Um, I'm kind of upset that I, I haven't lost more weight. I've been kind of stuck at this 148, 147, 146. It's been like that for like, I think, two weeks now. And it's just starting to irritate me because it's kind of going back and forth, back and forth. And um, I don't know, whatever. Um, sorry, guys, for if you have to hear this. but And sorry if you're disappointed. But my boobs! I'm wearing a push-up bra. My breasts have gone down like five cup sizes. So I'm putting fake titties in. If anybody wants to buy them for me, just give me your number. Um, no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm serious. But my um, plastic surgery is going to cost like $18,000 for my tummy tuck. And because my boobs were so big before, I can't just get silicone thrown in there. I have to get a breast reduction first, which means they have to like cut everything off and then... Once you heal, stick everything back in there, stick the silicone in there. So um, that kind of sucks. The breast reduction is like nine grand. I think I went over this in my other topics, but the breast reduction is nine grand. The implants are like three. Uh, it doesn't make sense to me. I got to make my breasts smaller to make them bigger, but whatever. Um, here's a quick body shot of what I look like. I'm in the same jeans as last time. I know I'm such a sexy bitch. And, um, Miss TT, I haven't seen you for a while, and you need to make a video, Missy. Don't make me have to come down there and get you, because I miss your videos. And even though I've been making videos, I've been kind of checking my videos. Um, anyway, um, I think I didn't forget anything. Rate, comment, subscribe. Um, if you guys have any questions or any topics or any videos that you guys think that, um, would make a great video please email me or video response and I will make a video about it and I will answer questions um, trying to hope I squeeze this all in 10 minutes a lot of people have asked me about my tattoos um, my oh, let me turn my, arm. Um, my tattoos are fine um, they are not screwed up um, of course I have <laughs> tattoos on my boobs and those are gonna get all cut off and maybe bits and pieces of them will be left when I get my breast reduction and I have um, my cherries right here, it's somewhere in this area, and when I get my um, tummy tuck, those are gonna part of that's gonna go. So those, are, of course, are gonna get fucked up. Um, but most of the tattoos on your arms and your legs and stuff, um, I'm almost at 100 pound loss, and mine are fine. So don't trip. Um, get tattoos and comment, rate, subscribe, and thank you to all my new subscribers. Love you guys much. Gotta go. Mm -hmm.